Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. We're just gonna launch right into the daily. I'm gonna random, I swear, if you give me rogue, I'm not gonna be pleased. I actually saw the hues of blue there. And trees of green. Uh, that's not really how the lyrics go, but it, I think to myself, what a wonderful world nonetheless. Okay, not a great start, but I saw the hues of blue and thought, oh lord, have they given us rogue again? But no, this is an eyes run. And, you know, these eyes have seen a lot of lows, but they're never going to see another one because uh, I planned a loop. If we could maybe find the last remaining enemies. Okay, there is another path through here. I, for a second, I thought the game was just a little broken. Which, I honestly, my first inclination was to be like, that would be your first, right? Sarcastically, but really the Nuclear Throne uh, early access kind of path that it's taken has been really stable, you know? A apart from all of your data getting deleted, which isn't even that relevant, like every single time the game updates. Uh, probably Rhino Skin. Um, Nuclear Throne is at a pretty, like, from my perspective at least, I'm not one of the developers, but uh, you know, from a, a consumer and player standpoint, a pretty nice and easy ride through early access, you know? And that's, you know, kudos to Vlambert for, you know, managing things correctly from a project manager standpoint, I suppose, in order to make that, uh, make that happen. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Crossbow Screwdriver, and, you know, you should know by now that I'm not a clever man. The reason I'm doing this is to hopefully get to YV's mansion. Even though the slugger might be a better choice, uh, oh, you're not even gonna let me get that present. Even though the slugger might be a better choice short or long term, I do think that the crossbow is gonna be, uh, useful for us. Especially now that we've, uh, kind of doubled down and taken homing bolts. Now if I could go grenade launcher, screwdriver, I absolutely would. I'm gonna try to shoot for the moon, and then even if I miss, I'll land amongst the stars, right? Got some ammo here. Is that another slugger, or is that the same slugger we came down with? I think it's another slugger. At least we got seven bolts back, because we are gonna wanna, uh, probably shoot a lot on the sewers. I mean, we probably wanna shoot a lot in a lot of different areas of the game, uh, but the sewers are a little dangerous, and it would be a terrible time to die. We have managed to pick up a lot of ammo there, though, so that's okay. Yeah, let's use the, the crossbow predominantly here. And uh, if we could get the grenade launcher on this floor, run crossbow grenade launcher, then take the screwdriver right as we go into pizza time. So it's as close to an ideal outcome as we can come, I think. Something about the way that that word left my lips made me feel very uncomfortable. And then the phrasing of word leaving my lips didn't really help out, to be honest with you. Still enough ammo. There's pizza time. Hopefully a nearby weapons case. Nope. Uh, well, if this is our last enemy, then, you know, more power to him, I guess. No, it's not. We did level up, though. This is going really well so far. If we can just get uh, a better secondary weapon from YV's mansion, maybe like a golden... Let's be realistic, like a golden assault rifle. I do want to take the sledgehammer, but without trigger fingers, we, we can't really justify it. So, um, probably... Laser Brain is great, but I'm gonna take Impact Wrist. Maybe my, I'm my own worst enemy, right? But uh, we're gonna try this at least. Now we have to be careful, we can't see, uh, well, almost anything at all, but we can't see the golden car. I just caught a glimpse of it. We just wanna make sure we're not shooting in the, oh! In the direction of the golden car. Okay, so come up here, shotgun. We'll activate that, take our shotgun with us. Head into YV's mansion, where we should be able to pick up another level, but we also need to be very wary about the enemies that we're going to be facing here. You know, not the easiest enemies in, in the game. Good god. Good god. Well, we're one hit away from death. There's a med kit available. Forget the rads, who cares? Who cares? Oh my god, we've lived. Okay. Well, that was incredibly stressful. But we've solved it. The, the problem is fixed. And, uh... Too easy, if you ask me. We got a golden shotgun, which obviously is a good replacement for our actual shotgun. Somehow we managed not to anger IDPD there. Which is incredible to me. We're going to live. We're not- it's not pretty. <laughs> and we're immediately going to our big dog fight. Uh, sure, I'll take Throne Buddy here and maybe we can keep the enemies at bay a little longer, but... Um, 
Or we can get the enemies up close even faster, depending on your perspective, I guess. But, um... I'm... I, I don't know. This is like... I thought it was gonna be like a who dares wins kind of moment, but now... Seems like it might be like a who dares loses. That's not the way the quote's supposed to go. Oh, big med kit. Big med kit was my nickname back in college. Thank you. We have a lightning pistol. Can we get rid of golden shotgun or crossbow to make lightning pistol work? I mean, we've unlocked the golden shotgun now. So I think we probably get rid of uh, the golden shotgun and take a lightning pistol with us. But, I don't know, maybe I'm missing out here. Flat cannon is definitely, you know, something we can go without. I gotta admit, lightning pistol not really, uh, it's not bringing the heat here when it comes to the larger enemies, but I think as long as we play our cards right, it seems to be working out pretty well. That was a weird surround sound type situation there. People are always like, NL, are you playing your games in mono? It seems like you've got really bad, like, directional awareness. I actually, I'm, I'm old school slash lazy. Slash, oh my god. So bad. Slash derelict. I don't know why our dailies never upload anymore. Maybe there's, like, a bug in the game right now. We're gonna do some more normal runs, obviously, because of my own idiocy and death there. I don't even want to talk about it. But, yeah, I, I roll, like, derelict style. I'm using, like, a pair of, like... $10 Radio Shack headphones. But Northern Line, Radio Shack hasn't existed for years. Surely you're thinking of a different company. Perhaps Best Buy? No, these are from Radio Shack. Uh, and, you know, I, I've, I've uh, never been much of an audiophile, but I've, I've experienced good sound. I appreciate it. For whatever reason, haven't made it a priority in my life. Alright, this run, we're gonna make up for our own idiocy. Scarier Face right off the bat is an acceptable pickup. I don't know what else was there that I really would have wanted. Uh, to be honest with you, that's not because there was necessarily, you know, bad mutation choices there. It's actually just because I don't remember. <laughs> um, as soon as I saw Scarier Face, I tunnel visioned and I said, this this is what we're going to take with us in the future. Uh, this gun, laser pistol, it's pretty good. Great opportunity for a uh, uh, Maroon 5 reference as well. For example, this gun is taking my head off me. You know, I'm not really much of a songster myself, but, you know, that young Adam Levine, I think he's going places. He's just got the voice of an angel. And the and the booty to match. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I just repeat what I hear in the media. Um... Good. I mean, this is great so far. I'm rolling with the best of them. Or at least, you know, not the very worst of them. Triple machine gun without eagle eyes is not really that desirable. Uh, but second stomach is. Laser pistol, laser brain is the combination that I'm going to be looking for. Until then, I'm going to be rolling uh, shotgun as my primary weapon, just because, especially in these tight corridors, the opportunity to get, like, multiple kills from the same shot is pretty good. Fairly ammo efficient, and also, if you're like me and have a tendency to miss a little bit, then the shotgun is ideal because it's got a decent enough spread to be useful. Man, I remember when I first started playing Nuclear Throne, and I thought the shotgun was so bad. I thought it was just an item you'd, you'd never take. Yeah, sure, I'll take the slugger sometime. Just a regular old shotgun? No way, man. How stupid can one man be? We're gonna get rid of our shotgun for heavy crossbow now. <laughs> Just after talking it up. And, uh, I'm going to do so in order to take, uh, laser pistol as our primary, heavy crossbow as our secondary. Uh, because heavy crossbow is just so good at dealing with annoying bosses, especially if you can get trigger fingers, homing bolts is a luxury. Um, I think recycle gland is okay here. Take recycle gland, uh, and then if we get a bullet weapon, like a hyper rifle l later, um, we can spam the crap out of it without worrying about that. Uh... Oh, what does that mean for my ammo reserves? Do I have to go pick up some more ammunition from Walmart? I actually don't know where you buy ammo, but I believe that you can purchase it at Walmart in some some parts of the world. Probably a gun store? Well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. Uh, I... Probably should have gone with sawed off over one of our weapons here. I think it's a really good choice uh, But I left it behind so instead I'll just try not to focus on it and Or dwell on it maybe I should say we, in the future we should focus on it so that we actually maybe have a better chance to get it Good roll It's the best roll I've seen since Daniel Day Lewis as Daniel Plainview Am I right? Am I right? I'm, I mean maybe you know, there will be blood. It's a pretty, pretty good film. 
three shots every time we fire this laser cannon. So rather than doing what I'm doing right now, we should probably try to make sure we actually uh, know what we're shooting at. We do run the risk of having some... Uh, rabbit pop for sure. Uh, we do run the risk of not firing as quickly as I'd like right now. And if we miss, we're out of commission for a little longer than I'd like probably. Uh, but the laser cannon, I think as soon as you realize that you can kind of, you know, strafe as you're shooting, get a little bit more value out of your shots. Oh, God. A um, little bit more spread out of your shots, I guess. Um, that's that's when the, the kind of moment of realization happens that, hey, this item is actually, like, really good. Double shotgun. Uh, could replace heavy crossbow, but I don't know. Uh, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Our laser cannon seems to be working out very nicely for us right now and seems like a reasonably good primary weapon. I think we gotta give it a little spread, like a little splash when we shoot. Give it a little squeeze. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. Get as much coverage as possible. As long as we kill one enemy per shot, I'm not sweating, you know? No, Pobody's nerfed. Good stuff. Is that Fish's voice? Scorba! He's, he's gotten a little bit more throaty since the last time I've visited the nuclear throne. Max HP, max shells. The danger in our current situation is that, for the most part, I really... Oh, that was dangerous. I really have no desire uh, to use our... Yeah, we want strong spirit, I think. Um, I've got no desire to use our heavy crossbow as a primary weapon, so if we run out of ammo for it, you know, life's life's gonna be tough. Even if we don't run out of ammo, if we just get a little tight on ammo, that's not where we want to be in our lives. Somehow we dodge that. Do it exactly the opposite of what I'm doing right now. If you play Nuclear Throne yourself, don't watch this as a guide for what to do. I'm making the worst mistakes. Consistently. Energy, please. Nice, 13 energy keeping us in the neon green here. One enemy per shot is okay. Ideally more, but never less. Oh, you're lucky. Did miss out on some ammo there, I think. Another level coming. Laser Brain? Yeah, Trigger Fingers is really good, but I feel like maybe Laser Brain is gonna... What Laser Brain effectively means for us is uh, if I just hit an enemy with one part of the laser, they'll now die. Or maybe it just gives us more lasers per shot. That's what it seems to be doing right now. Um, I guess I can't take the, the perk necessarily as literally as it says on the screen. Maybe it's both. At the same time, oh, we pissed IDPD right off here. But at the same time, um, oh, geez. I think that we could probably say we can get rid of our heavy crossbow, which is a shame because we haven't really used it. But And we need to find something better first, don't get me wrong. But I think laser cannon now fits the bill as kind of like our, our good active and kind of secondary weapon. Like, it, it fires fast enough, it has enough stopping power. That was such a clutch uh, medkit there. That uh, I feel like we can totally use this to fight bosses. It fires faster and may at this point do as much or maybe even a little bit more damage than uh, Heavy Crossbow does. That um, situation was amazing. Let's give Heavy Crossbow a little bit of respect here. Oh, come on. Little Hunter's dead. It only took three shots, which is probably, you know, maybe the heavy crossbow's way of being like, hey, don't forget about me. I've seen The Breakfast Club and the song contained therein. We can't take a, an energy hammer because we're already rolling uh, laser cannon. You know, laser is actually Nick Cannon's uh, American Gladiator name, so I wonder if they have to pay him some royalties here. I'll take Blood Cannon. Now, I don't necessarily feel like Blood Cannon is what I want to use, but it, it's like an alternative option that maybe is okay. 
Now, Blood Cannon doesn't hurt us, but it's like if it misses, we take damage or something. Apparently not. I don't know. Uh, is Blood Cannon good? I never remember. Some of the Blood Weapons are good and some of them are not. Blood Hammer seems cool as long as you never miss. Let's operate under the assumption that the Blood Launcher is fine. Um, and just roll with that for now. Obviously, we're not going to get rid of Heavy Crossbow and take Normal Crossbow. You think I don't understand what adjectives are? I do understand what adjectives are. Trigger Fingers. Okay, Trigger Fingers seems awesome here. I hesitate to call anything a no-brainer because uh, oftentimes I do that and then people go, Well, actually, you're completely wrong, you idiot. You're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I didn't consider that possibility. Thanks for enlightening me. Um, we definitely don't want Pop Gun. That was extremely quick. We don't have another mutation coming, and to be honest with you, we probably won't before our throne fight. But as long as we can keep our energy, you know, high enough, that's okay. It doesn't need to be Tal Bachman, you know, she's so high, high above me. She's so lovely. If it's just like a decent amount. Oh, we lived. And we're thriving to a degree that we've never seen before. What a gr glorious day to be alive. Still got good ammo as well. Um, wow, we're done. Shotgun. That is like super not what you want to see. After that level of stress we went through there. Um, assault Slugger. Over a blood cannon? Yeah, I think it's the right choice. Um... What do you think, like, Assault Slugger, the throne, and then Laser Cannon the Christ out of these uh, generators so we maybe have a chance to loop? It's a pretty good loadout. Maybe we suffer a little bit for uh, a lack of ability to push this guy back, but I think we're fairly well equipped. Just stop moving, please. Like, Laser Cannon, I'm thinking, is where our main damage dealing is. So, of course... That's going to be my go-to for how to deal with these. And then it's going to be my go-to for how to deal with this guy. Yes, we've killed him already. This is surprising to me. Um, but that just goes to show you, I guess, how good Laser Cannon is for us right now. You may know him as the host of America's Got Talent. Uh, I think we take Patience, even though Homing Bolts could be good. Laser Cannon has become, like, my favorite weapon in the game. And also my favorite meme about the actor who America got their first glimpse of on a widespread scale in the 2003 film Drumline. It is going buck wild here! It's not, it's not a problem at all! Impact Wrists is actually exactly what I'm looking for here. Because I'm feeling, late game, the ability to basically treat all of our enemies as if they're projectiles in and of themselves is pretty slick. And this is the... Oh! What the heck was that? He shot out a bunch of things at us! I'm... Whoa! Careful. I'm thinking this is the first time in a little while we've actually had like a genuine chance at, um, at a decent loop. As long as we can keep up our medkit... Oh! Whoa! Luke Skywalker! As long as, uh, as long as we can keep up our, our health with, you know, med kits like this, basically. We got a chance, man. Alright, destroy the police van. It has been destroyed. And we have lived through one level of looping. We're about to get Fish's ultimate, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what it does. But I remember that people are always like, Gun Warren is one of the best ultimates in the game. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get it. So this is like, real sweet. Uh, I'm not too worried about like, the rads in here. But as always, you know, ammo can be extremely worthwhile. So I wanna make sure I'm not whiffing on that too hard. Oh yeah, okay. Like I'm worried about angering the IDPD at this point in my life. Life's too short to be worried about the IDPD, dog. Less IDPD, more Manny Petty. Doesn't it's not really a motto I live by, but you know.
know. What is this, like, heavy assault rifle? It is heavy assault rifle. Flak Cannon. Flak Cannon, of course, is Nick Cannon's brother. Uh, he's an accountant in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Infinite ammo the first seven seconds after exiting a portal. Yeah, that seems... I mean, it seems like I'm going to give it a try here. And with trigger fingers especially, it ain't no party like a gun warrant party because a gun warrant party lasts seven seconds. You heard of seven minutes in heaven? Nah, dog. Seven seconds in heaven. That's where the real party is. Two minutes in heaven is better than one minute in heaven. Ah! We may die. We may not, though. That's the other alternative that I haven't informed you about as much. Oh, two hits is too much. No! Not the nuclear men! I'm not gonna die in a nuclear scorpions. That's just, I refuse. This is my refusal. Um, we've made it. 814 kills. Why couldn't I do this on the daily? Gun warrant. Go to town, baby! I'm not that impressed with the gun warrant, not on a, on the whole, but on this level where I started out only fighting like a hundred enemies. Where's the 630,000 that I'm supposed to fight when I start here? Oh, that's what I like to hear. Thank you for not shooting right away. I'm just like, oh, we died. I was gonna say I'm just shooting in there and hoping for the best, but that was a great run to finish it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Nuclear Throne.